We're gonna go over the most misunderstood concept in Olympic weightlifting, and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so we are here with 2021 senior Pan Am champ, Haley Reichert. She is also the current US national champ in the 49K weight class, one of the best weightlifters in the entire world. She's the youngest American female to ever clean and jerk double body weight. And one of the things that she does very, very well is she moves her knees really well. Now, in the snatch, we're starting to figure out how she can move her knees a little bit more effectively so that we can get a bigger transfer from your 92K snatch uh, to the floor. That's what we wanna do. We wanna get her to snatch 92 kilos right from the floor. Ideally, especially at the world stage, that's gonna do some really big damage in the 49K division. Now that's a lot of damage! What we wanna talk about is how do you need to utilize your knees? Okay, so a lot of coaches will tell you to stay over the bar or they'll tell you to push against the floor or they'll tell you these weird abstract movements but they don't actually instruct you on how do you need to actually move your knees at various positions. And so we're gonna utilize the snatch and then we're gonna go into the clean and we are going to focus precisely on what your knees need to do so that you can keep that bar very tight and that will lead to a better vertical finish and in turn, monster PR. So Haley's gonna demonstrate with the snatch and we're gonna go through each position and exactly what your knees need to do in those various positions. Okay, so when we're talking about the snatch specifically, we're gonna start from the floor to the knee and we're gonna go through three specific positions. So Haley's gonna demonstrate, we're gonna pretend that there's 85 kilos on the bar and Haley's gonna start from the floor. So when we are starting from the floor, we want the knees to be almost exactly in line with our toes. Maybe a longer limb lifter will have those knees a little bit past their toes. But so we wanna see the knees clear back, okay? So the knees will come back. Good, and they're gonna stay right there. Go back down to the start position. Why are your knees shaking, Haley? Do, do that again. Back, perfect. Okay, so from the floor to the knee, the knees need to come back, okay? Now, the next position is the knee to the reciprocation point, okay? Below the knee to the reciprocation point, this whole area I call no man's land. Everybody loses their lifts here because they keep the bar forward by keeping their knees back too much, too long, okay? So they think that they can push the bar in with their hands, but you can't do that. It's too heavy, especially if you're a good weightlifter. You need to actually move the knees under so they come back and the knees come under the bar to the reciprocation point. So now it's gonna go, knees come back, and then as you get up, yep, push forward, good. Then go back down so we can demonstrate. Knees go back, knees forward, good. One more, knees back. So you load the hamstrings, then they come forward, and you load the hamstrings and the quads. Now, from the top here, so when we're at the reciprocation, so when we are at the reciprocation point, we will go here and now the hips come through and the knees will stay flexed. And that's what we wanna focus on next is the hips come through, knees stay flexed, and then you can get into that finish where the knees will actually extend. Okay, so demonstrate that. So the knees come back, then they come under. Yep, and then they'll extend. You can actually do, do a, like a slow snatch here. Back, under, extend. One more with the snatch, back, under, extend. Good, so in the snatch, the knees come back here, okay? Then the knees come under and now we're utilizing and we're in a very similar position to where we would be when we're back squatting. So now we're gonna actually utilize our legs. So we load the hamstrings, load the quads, extend the knees on the finish. And that's exactly how your knees need to move when you're executing the snatch. So before we get into the next key points behind this video, if you're struggling with your weightlifting technique, your snatch is terrible, your clean sucks, and you can't hit any monster PRs and you don't know what to do, we put together a course, the Olympic Weightlifting Technique course. You can click on the link down below, head over to garagestrength.com. You can pick up our technique specific course today to help you learn the best way to move and smash those monster PRs. Okay, so remember, Haley is the youngest female in American history to clean jerk double body weight. Woo! She's going to demonstrate how the knees move uh, in the clean. And, and this is an important concept here because we're gonna talk about what I coach and then think about it where if you teach an athlete or if you are an athlete watching this, you can learn how to move this specific way, but your body will take on its own version. And one of the things, the reason why I'm saying that is Haley's knees move really well off the floor, 
but they move out a little bit more than other athletes who tend to move all the way back and then all the way back under. So it's important to realize that that's okay as long as the knees are coming under and the bar is staying really, really tight. And when we watch Haley's videos here in slow motion, you're gonna be able to see how tight that bar is in her cleans from below the knee to just above the knee. So here we're gonna watch with Haley demonstrating. First, we're gonna start off from the floor and executing with the knees coming back from the floor to the bottom of the knee. Back, good. Give me two more. So it's very similar to the snatch. Good, one more. Good, and now we're gonna go from below the knee to just above the knee. Yep, perfect, good. Good. Perfect there, and then now we'll go from the hip into that catch position, okay? Good. Give me two more. So this is very, very similar to the snatch. Now the knees might not come under as much as they would inside of the snatch. Give me one more here. Good. Now, watch Haley and when she goes in slow motion, if, if she has 110 kilos or 105 kilos, those knees might go out a little bit, but the whole goal is to keep the knees coming back and keeping the bar tight around the knee. Watch someone like Tian Tao or Xi Ji Yong and watch their knees will do the exact same thing. And that's why they can clean and jerk a house, okay? You wanna see the knees come back. And then as those knees come under the bar, now you're in the position of where we're training when we're doing back squats, okay? If we keep our knees back all the way to here, this position is not something that we actually train in the weight room with a movement like the back squat. This position does not happen, okay? So we wanna see the knees come under so that then we can extend and drive long. So utilize these tips when you are focusing on improving your technique. Understand how your knees have to move back, how they move back under and then how they extend on the finish. That's gonna help keep that bar tighter so that you can smash those monster PRs in the snatch and in the clean and jerk. Until next time, guys. Peace.